Hi, I'm Erica from AccuQuilt. I'm Aditha Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. We are so happy to have you here in our studio today, and hopefully you're going to show us how to put together the spring showers table runner we have here. Well, it's my pleasure to be here, and I'm going to try to do that. Great. Let it rain of fabrics That's and design. right. We have umbrellas in front of us. We're going to be using this um, die. This is an umbrella die. Mm -hmm. And what is fun about this die is that with one cut, you get all the shapes necessary to make one block. Perfect. Yes. Selection of fabric is one thing that we're going to do first. Okay. And I just selected a bunch of colorful fabrics for this project. Um, we're going to use some of the fabrics for the umbrella and some for the borders. And the borders are cut with the simple shape die. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. And we have a video on the simple shape. Yes. That you guys, if you would like to watch that video, it gives you plenty of ideas and a fine suggestion on how to cut and how to get a lot of colors into your applique borders. That's right. So first what I'm going to do is grab some fabrics and prepare them for appliques. What do I mean by that? I'm going to choose a fusible webbing. Okay. And in this case, I have two different fusible webbings, lightweight heat and bound and a featherweight um, heat and bound. Okay. And I'm going to take those and place them onto my fabric and press it down. You know, when you're working with batiks, mm -hmm. there isn't a right and a wrong side on batiks. So choose the side that it's not as pretty, not as bright, okay. and fuse the fusible webbing to that, to that side. side. Okay. So that way Great you're getting tip. the bright, happy side of a batik. Um, if it. you're working with the traditional fabrics, you need to fuse it on to the wrong side. wrong side of the fabric. Perfect. So I already prepared some pieces here and I have two fun colors. Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to grab them together. You okay. can grab as many as four layers to cut it. Okay. Yeah. That's what I usually do. I'm going to keep the uh, fabric right side up. Okay. No matter which way you decide, if you want the handle to spin to the left, you need to keep the fabric right side up. If you want the handle to spin to the right, you put the paper side up. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Let me take one of the mats. And I like to make always sure that everything is laying down nice. And my fabric, I have pre-cut 6 by 12. Okay. Because that's what it fits on the die nicely. Excellent. Oh, I'm so excited about that. And we're using a Go Baby today, but this die would work on the Go or the Go Big as well, right? Yes, yeah, and it works just as well and very fast on those. <laughs> With one push of a button, you could have things done. So I'm going to use my muscles. Okay. And cut it. Oh, that's wonderful. And like I said, you can do as many as four layers so you get a quick cut, nice variety. Look at this. I'm going to lift this up just oh, like that. All and shapes. all the shapes are There's right there. Yes. Yeah. All nice oh, and playful. Oh my goodness. Playful. Look at the little Perfect. The tiny little points. Yep. So what we do is, let me put those to the side. The next step is cut our background. Okay. And I have pre-cut my background two ten and a half inches. This okay. is the size of the block oh, okay. that it's going to go there. And now, remember we cut two colors of fabric, so we have two umbrellas. I'm going to place the shadow from this umbrella onto this one. I'm oh. going to take the handle from this, this one. one. Put it on that yes. one. Yes, and I'm going to do the same thing for this umbrella. And I call that a set. So notice it. The blue goes here, so that right. way you have nice shading, and the blue was from this umbrella. You flip and swap. The green is from here. Oh. This, do you see? It gives right. a little bit fun look to it. So you can mix and match them that way. Even if you didn't cut them together, mm -hmm. you can you mix can and still match. Mix and match. Yes, and see what happened. Next thing that I like to do is I'm going to put a little crease into my background okay. just to give me a little bit of a line right here to uh, indicate where I need to put my oh. pieces to center them What up. a great tip. Yes. Thank you. So right there, this would be the way that I would like to place my pieces. Once I look at it and the colors are great, I'm just going to take a piece 
squeeze gently a corner and peel the paper away. Once the paper is peeled away, I can position my pieces again in place, do that for all of those mm -hmm. and press it. Excellent. Okay. To make this a little bit faster, I have already pressed one down for us. Go. Ready, set, go. Once the pieces are placed in place, we need to stitch around okay. it. And there is a many different ways you can finish the edges of your umbrella. On the table runner, I use a nylon invisible thread on the top, cotton thread in a bobbin. Remember, you have to lower the tension on the top if you're using invisible threads because the threads like to stretch and okay. pull the bobbin. I used a 2370 on the back and I used a small zigzag stitch and a Macrotex needle in my sewing machine. I start, and this is fun tip for all of you girls when you start stitching. So I start right here. Okay. I will go around this way, come, go around the top, finish it up, and then I will stitch around. I'll come up here, go around right. the handle here, 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 and come back to here. So, you're not, so you can so stitch. So you can keep going. Yeah. Perfect. Go around all of the pieces without stopping. So you can do that when you're using invisible thread and you don't have to change colors. Another way of uh, securing the pieces in place would be using a cotton thread on the top. Mm -hmm. You can see those stitches and you're going to be switching the colors on the top of your sewing machine. Okay. And I love this selection of colors because they're going to go great, especially for small projects. And I especially chose those Orphil threads to match all my fabrics from Editas Essential or Jelly Bean Collection. Those match perfectly and you even have the umbrella on the cover of those threads. That's great. So now cotton thread on the top, cotton thread in a bobbin and little zigzag go around the edges. Another way to finish would be using a blanket stitch. And that's what I've done on the quilt that it's behind us. I want to add extra detail to it. I chose one of the blanket stitch design that I have it on my machine and just stitch around it. I love the blanket stitch. Uh, me too. That gives so much flavor to it. Now, a raw edge applique is also a possibility. Mm -hmm. Raw edge applique means you will straight stitch staying one aid inside your applique just hold the pieces in place and then later on those edges will fray gently. Just a personal recommendation when you're making quilts for babies mm -hmm. or young children, I recommend cotton threads. Mm -hmm. Don't use the invisible threads. They're a little bit harder and they're a little bit stiffer. Mm -hmm. For wall hanging, table runners, those are the threads you need to use. Quick project and you can see any of the stitches and it That's great just tip. is great. So once you make your umbrellas, you can put them into a table runner, finish up with the extra applique on the edges That's that great. are made from our uh, Go Simple Shapes. Right. I love that die. That is one that I use it all the time. And if you know how to make a one, you can make a dozen. That's right. So you could make a larger quilt as well. Well, for the pattern for this table runner, as well as other inspiration, be sure to check AccuQuilt.com. We'll hope to see your creations on our community page as well. You can also find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. So thank you so much for coming and showing us. And I think we had one more little project over oh, there you yes. were going to show us. Oh. When, like I said, when you learn how to make your umbrellas, you're going to want to put them everywhere. <laughs> and with every rain comes a rainbow. So remember, use the colors. And if you make your umbrellas and you want to show off to your girlfriends, you can sure put it on your shoulder and take it to your grocery <laughs> store. So that is a fun little project, fun bag that you can find in one of my books. And I would love you to try it. Small projects are fun to practice your new dies. I like to make a hot pads or maybe a bag like this just to see how much I like the design and what I want to do with it. That is a great idea. Well, remember with AccuQuilt and the dies, you can cut time so you can quilt more. And better cuts make better quilts.